My issue is they gave up a lot to move up a few spots to get him. I give this a C. Welcome to the new era in the AFC South, recapping the first round of the 2012 NFL Draft. The big story in the first round is Andrew Luck, drafted number one overall by the Indianapolis Colts. Look, the worst kept secret of this offseason was Luck going to the Colts. The Colts obviously had strong interest in Luck going back as probably as far as February. But with Luck going to the Colts, it is a new era for them. They got rid of Peyton Manning some time ago. Luck is now their franchise quarterback. And with Luck, they can move forward into this new era in Indianapolis. 14 years of Andrew Luck for them, not too shabby. Moving on into the AFC South, we go to the Jacksonville Jaguars. They made a curious move with a trade, trading up to number five to get Justin Blackman. Now, wide receiver was a big need for the Jaguars going into this draft, but the trade up to get Blackman had more than a few people scratching their head. Again, not a bad move for Jacksonville. There are a lot of other guys at their original spot they could have gotten that might have been just as good as Blackman. Moving on in the AFC South, we have the Tennessee Titans, who also opted to go offense and wide receiver, taking Kendall Wright out of Baylor, Robert Griffin III's favorite target when they were in college together. Again, wide receiver for the Tennessee Titans was a need for them as well. They have Jake Locker, their second-year quarterback, or Matt Hasselback, their veteran. If you're going to have either one of those guys, you want to give them weapons to throw the ball to. We round out the AFC South with the Houston Texans team that won the AFC South, strong defense. They lost Mario Williams in free agency and they replaced him with Whitney Merciless. Defensive end slash linebacker out of Illinois. Speed, quickness, he might be able to replace Mario Williams. At least that's what the Texans hope he can do. So let's go over to the war room right now where I try and look cool in front of my colleagues. AFC South, gentlemen. Yes. Well, because you are so weird with your Indianapolis stuff, we have another weird Indianapolis person to talk about, Andrew Luck and Fawn. Fine, he can talk Colts. Ah, but what more can I really say? What more can be said? It's time to give him the playbook, sit yep. down with Bruce Arians, get him on the field, let's get going. Uh, yeah, this pick's been locked for weeks, but it, now the draft becomes more about what the Colts can do. A plus, great. A plus, absolutely. Yes. Um, Jacksonville. Uh, Jacksonville, I think uh, Justin Blackman's a great player. I think he can be a very good player. His time speed of, uh, with the combine or with uh, his pro days is a little sketchy. Right. My issue is they gave up a lot to move up a few spots to get him. I give this a C. I'm never really super crazy about wide receivers, and I think Kendall Wright's very good. I just don't think it's a terrific value for Tennessee at this point. I think they have to work on their defense, especially because I don't think Jake Locker is going to be that upper echelon NFL quarterback. So good, but not great. I'm going to go B- minus for Kendall Wright. Whitney, Whitney Merciless, very talented player. The Texans did have to replace Mario Williams, but I thought they had a lot more issues on offense they needed to deal with coming off a great defensive season. Grade them? B minus. B minus. Jimmy, come closer to me so I can tell everybody to subscribe to SB Nation for more draft videos. Comment down below if you disagree, agree with any of these grades. I really feel like throwing a football at one of you. And I don't know which one of you it's going to be. Spike it. I, really, I do want to spike, spike it. it.